Helicopters patrolled the skies of Davos as more than 2,000 of the world's most influential leaders from the world of business and politics descended on the usually tranquil Swiss ski resort. They've gathered here amid tight security to discuss the most pressing issues of the day, from climate change to the Middle East. But without doubt, at the top of their list, the global economic crisis and how to fix it. Two men dominated the opening day here in Davos, the Prime Ministers of Russia and China. In a special address to the forum, Wen Jiaobao acknowledged there will be more protests and social unrest in his country as the financial crisis takes hold. We are facing severe challenges in China, including notably shrinking external demand, overcapacity in some sectors, difficult business conditions for enterprises, runs, rising unemployment in urban areas, and greater downward pressure on economic growth. As a big, responsible country, China has acted in an active and responsible way during this crisis. After his address, Prime Minister Wen Jiaobao was gracious, but still refused to take questions from the waiting crowds. The sheer number of press and delegates who are waiting for Prime Minister Wen Jiaobao to appear is a sign of just how much his presence has dominated the opening day of the World Economic Forum. David Lee from the Center for China in the World Economy told me the downturn is already testing relations between Beijing and the new administration in Washington. Well, I do expect uh, uh, increases in the tension in trade between the two countries. Uh, however, overall, I am optimistic because the Chinese economy starting now is not that dependent on trade with the U.S. or with the rest of the world. The policy emphasis, the most driving force, will come from domestic investment and domestic consumption. This was Wen Jiaobao's first stop on his European tour, which will take in Germany, Spain and Britain. He won't be visiting President Sarkozy, though, whose meeting with the Dalai Lama still angers Beijing. As for Russia, after years of rapid economic growth, the future now looks very challenging. This crisis is the result of a number of factors. Uh, the collapse of the existing financial system and the result of the low quality of regulation and management. Therefore, enormous risks, risks went unmanaged. An enormous disbalance has been accumulated in the recent years between the scale of financial operations and fundamental uh, value of the assets. The delegates talk well into the evening here in Davos, but without any big figures from Washington present, the fear is talk is all they'll do. Matthew Moore, Al Jazeera, Davos.